G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today's video is about the Sabata Vertical Perch. Here's the Sabata Vertical Pouch. Now it comes in three different sizes. It comes in a two litre, four litre and a six litre. Now this one's a six litre. And if I check my cheat sheet measurements, it's 37, uh, 30 centimetres, 17 centimetres by 12 centimetres that way. It weighs in at 165 grams and the material is the 1000 D Cordora fabric so it's nice and tough. Power's attachment height you need at least three rows on your pack and four width so you've got your four columns coming down for your powers. Weight 165 grams. The colour at the moment you're getting Ode Green, Black or Camo. Now they do have a new brown pack out so maybe one day soon they'll have this in the brown to match that. First, yeah, that's all on my cheat sheet. What they recommend is this is for use with the uh, Savata Yakri medium large and extra large but i found a way of using it with the small too now looking at the small it will fit on the side of the small pack because we got the one two three four five rows going down and two three four columns so that could also fit on there but i don't know if they recommend it because there's no hip belt and all the weight will be on your shoulders but if you don't mind your shoulders taking all the weight, there's an option for you. Zips. I'm not certain if they're YKK or not, but they're pretty good zips. But, uh, stitching wise, manufacture wise, all that stuff, there's no loose threads, there's nothing missing. All the rows of the molly webbings, all even. The spacing for all the gaps, the columns coming down, that's all even. It's just a really nice finish on it. Again on the side here, we've got these two, one on each side. So what you do with these is you can grab them and it makes it easier to pull your zip up. So nice and easy. You can even attach a carabiner and hang something off that point as well if you want because they're very well made. As you can see on the back, we've got three, two, three, what? what's that? I don't know what that is, but it is all right. We've got three rows of molly with the four columns coming down. The webbing, I believe, is a polyester. It's nice and strong. And with this one, as you, after you've gone through hooking it, there's no, car uh, no um, press stud. You just hook it back on itself through the webbing. So let's show you a bit closer. You'll just push it up through your webbing and the webbing's got a stiffener in there so it's nice and stiff and gives you a nice strong uh, and that's without putting it through any other webbing on the pack. So that's a nice strong uh, connection there, hold it on nice. As you know with especially the higher number it is, it's fairly waterproof on its own. But Savata do state that the stitching is not uh, seam sealed in any way. So over time, if you in a lot of rain, it, it may eventually, for example, if you submerge it in water, get through them seams, the stitching there. Now, that I only told you that because let you know it's not waterproof. But we do have a drain hole at the bottom. So there's another reason it's not waterproof because the water will come in but that's there to allow water out if it gets in so you can drain out or any fine particles of dust. The zip itself has got a nice finish to it it's got a bit of a dust guard so it's only what's needed to open all the rest is protected by this material dust guard. Now I've stacked this up with some gear so as I open this to show you the inside, you'll notice what I've got in here. 
and just give you an idea of what you can carry in one of these instead of carrying what I've got in here inside the pack I can transfer it into this and have it on the outside of the pack for easy access if needed like I said we've got plenty of room still left in there to fit in odds and sods so let's open it up and the first thing you'll see before I show you the inside of this is my cup kit it's a 750ml pot it's got my mug in there and it's got my gas in there and my small stove on the inside now you see it's got this plastic rubber coating I think it's more of a rubber coating so I don't know why I keep saying plastic which actually increases the waterproof of this material so again there very little chance of water getting here it may seep through like I said the zip eventually but then it's going to take probably hours or days for it to even get through the stitching now space wise what can you fit in here let's pull this back out of the way now I've just thrown these in here as an example so you can get an idea of what could fit in here so one double meal pack a second two-person meal pack that's a, that's a porridge that's a one person that's a one person that's a one person that's a one person and I still had room in here to drop my water kit in there my filter kit so normally as you can imagine that would take up a lot of space inside your pack so if you want to get away with a smaller pack and you don't mind putting pouches on the outside this is a good one for you so let's slowly put these back in here what I might do is as I go give it a shake flatten them out more and they'll also fit in better There's one of the meals back in there, and we still have room down the side here. So, like I said, you could fit your water kit down there, your filter kit, or you could even fit some snacks. And what I did with the cup kit that just sat on top, let's fold that back over. So, put that underneath that flap there. Let's get that cord out of the way. And without doing it up, that's how far that's in there already. Again, grab the tag, pull it up, same here. And we still had plenty of room at the top here for more stuff if need be. Now, like I said, they said it's made for the medium large or extra large now let's put all this back in my pack but if you don't mind it being on the back it will actually fit on the small now the small has got four rows here so it will fit on the small and it will also fit on the front quite easy now the buckles on the yakri small and the webbing comes through the molly just to keep it tidy and you just pull that through when you need it a little bit extra in length but this actually fits where the buckle webbing goes so get the most awkward one done first where the buckle is
now I've done that properly this I'm just going to fold over and push back up there into the pouch webbing same with this one As you can see there, hopefully, I've woven that through so every section of this is actually secure and supporting the pouch and the pack. Now this is going to cause a bit of weight on the back of the pack when I'm walking. But, hey, very little weight in there and it's opened all the space up in here for me to carry anything else I need. So that's the Savota vertical pouch. Like it says, it comes in three sizes, the two litre, four litre and six litre. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and you're not a subscriber already, please go down below and click on the subscribe button. Click on the notification bell next to that and select all so you can be notified of all future upcoming videos. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun, and take care.